Hi viewers, welcome back to the Trading for Living video series. Myself, Brijesh Bhatia here. In the previous video, we have discussed algo trading versus manual trading and should you go for algo trading. And in that video, I have said that we will be discussing some of the strategies in algo trading. So here it is, a strategies on algo trading. So I think guys, you have already planned to look for algo trading so that you are looking some of the strategies over here but in case you haven't thought of going for algo trading still look at this video because we'll be discussing some of the strategies which might help you even in case you don't want to look for algo based trading but uh, there might be some strategies which can you uh, help you to do manual trading so first there are six strategies which we'll be covering first is momentum second is main reversion third is trend following arbitrage strategies, market making strategies, sentiment analysis and sentiment analysis is very much important so do watch this video till last because it will be an eye opener for you I guess. So first let's look at the momentum strategy. So what are the momentum strategy which means that uh, there are sometimes that markets open with the gap up and continue to uh, see their upside momentum or markets open gap down uh, and continue their momentum. There are stocks which uh, are trading in a range for a longer time, opens above the range and then continues their bullish momentum or again vice versa. So I have named this as gap, gapping play and again for a trader when a stock is rising for 4-5% a day and you are into those trades, no better switch than that. So for me gapping play is very much important. Uh, and this is a, a method which I generally follow many a times when it comes to the momentum based trading. Second is news based or results which you want to play uh, and probably there might be that there is a news of company receiving an order, uh, there is a court case which is possibly that company might win it out and uh, that are the news you can look at, the company is probably offering uh, uh, coming up with the results. Uh, which is expected of street that it, the company would be with the higher margin or good profit margins. Uh, there could be a sales, increase in sales and those kinds of momentum which generally picks up. And you can look for those kind of trades which are into the momentum. Third and most important which are majorly used into the markets are 52 week high, 52 week low. When stock hitting 52 week high, they generally tends to give uh, good momentum on the positive side or uh, if it's hitting the low, it generally tends to give momentum downside. So you can gain 3-4% gain, uh, out of that momentum. So 52 week high, 52 week low is a strategy which is generally well known into the markets. Again breakout and breakdown as I said, if a stock is trading in a range for a longer time it breaks out. Or probably the technical stuff, there are triangles, there are channel, flags. So there are various aspects where the breakout and breakdown happen. So there such kind of uh, momentum you can use it out on uh, the momentum based strategies and again how can algo help you is because if you define some of the algos over here and uh, it comes into your system algos indication then it might go long or it might go short. Third is mean reversion and this is again. Uh, so let me go through it. What is mean reversion? Then I will uh, discuss advantage and disadvantage of this. So me, basically the mean reversion is coming back to the average. Uh, so basically you run daily 5-7 kilometers and at some point of time you run 10 kilometers. So your energy levels will come down and at some point of time you will take a pause or probably uh, breathe it out, take a break and your energy again comes to the normal level. So mean reversion is what? a price deviating from XYZ moving average which you are using. Uh, so generally if I look at from an investment of 200 days is generally known, uh, 50 days is generally known, from a trading side 9 days, 13 days, 21 days are generally known and when the price deviate up from that average uh, exhaustively which means that generally if you look at the price range it's 5-7% uh, when from the X average and suddenly it goes to around 12-13%. Uh, so there is a possibility that it will be mean reversing or coming back to the, its averages. So here the mean reversion plays out. So there are uh, uh, multiple moving averages which people use out. Uh, like as I said, uh, say if you are trading on an hourly chart, so you might be using 9 and 21, probably 21, 34, depending on the momentum you have. So uh, there is, are some strategy which gives you a crossover and you buy uh, a negative crossover which you, you sell. So there is a strategy called multiple moving average which is generally well known into the markets. Third is pair trading or multiple instruments trading. 
so multiple instruments there see there are uh, various stuffs on pair trading so one is generally calendar spread which generally people do which what does it means that if you are trading futures and uh, say nifty so if i'm trading uh, january series and i'm trading february series so if, if you think that january series to february series the difference between two price of nifty uh, if february might be trading with a premium of 40 rupees and you think that generally 40 is slightly on higher side the average uh, premium for a start of the month or probably mid of the month is around 30 rupees so you might think that oh it's an opportunity of 10 bucks for me or 12 bucks for me or 8 bucks for me and you execute a trade that's a pair trade calendar spread uh, again now the pair might be into the uh, stock of same uh, sector so i am trading as infosys and tcs so you think that infosys has a huge run up of 20 percent while the tcs is still at around 10 percent 11 percent so there are chances that um, either tcs might uh, tcs might rally on infosys might correct so probably you think that okay i will buy, buy tcs because tcs still has a potential to catch up with the infi or i'll short the infi because it, it has run up a huge and there can be possibility that it can be it might catch up with tcs again so you what you do is you buy in tcs and sell infosys so you are doing a pair between uh, two stocks of the same sector so there are various instruments which are done in commodities as well so well known uh, pair trading into commodities gold and silver so uh, if you know about gold silver ratio uh, you might look at those and look at the pair trading between gold and silver. Uh, you can also watch our Fast Profits daily video series where we discuss various commodities uh, aspects and intermarket premises so that it will help you to uh, understand various intermarket now. So coming back to the strategy, mean reversion is very much popularized into the markets and into the uh, technical analysis fraternity as well when it comes to the playing with moving averages. So for me, I am doing moving averages for last year around 10-12 uh, years and uh, I used to doing commodities initially and if I just I just share one strategy, I don't have the back trade result now because uh, probably last I trade was around 2013-14. So from 2008-9 to 2013-14, I have test traded those but due to the uh, algo, not algo because markets timing uh, back to the equity and I have to stop it but you can use try this strategy uh, I used to do two hours charts on MCX copper with uh, I guess 43 or 44 uh, time frame moving average and it really helped me uh, because when the price go above 43 44 and even if you backtest those you get a good result so I don't remember the exact now what are the data uh, backtesting results but at a point of time we used to trade that and uh, the results were very much uh, amazing even what the nickel uh, nickel prices or zinc prices you can look at into the commodity space. So in equity, uh, even I trade on Nifty, uh, which is very much important uh, moving average strategy, which I do. Uh, I What I do is I when the prices cross over with 9 and uh, I am using 9 and 21. So when prices of uh, 9 cross over about 21, I will buy with keeping a stop loss of 3% initially. Then I will move when prices go 1% higher. I will move my stop loss to 1% lower than 21 days average, 21 time frame average. So it has really uh, when the market trend, you get amazing results. So that's the kind of uh, moving average strategy you can. And again, advantage is over here with the momentum averages uh, is when the markets are trending, you gain amazing returns and your emotions are. Uh, taken out because when the markets are trending you don't think that oh market has run up so much I should book my profits again the disadvantage over here is when the markets tend to trend in a range your frequent in outs in outs in outs in outs might uh, keep you uh, or might think uh, take you to a decision that I should stop my uh, system but I think you should if you are doing back testing stick to your system for at least at least six months keeping in mind that the drawdowns which you have back tested there might be sometimes drawdowns might go up plus and minus but i think if you are trying or uh, developing a strategy uh, stick to at least six months on it because you never know uh, when is the good time so if you look at the recent markets we have seen one way right from uh, uh, when the highway is broken up around 12,400 levels since then straight away 2000 points really is missing so what if your such kind of markets momentum uh, take place and you might gain an amazing return with this strategy. So mean reversion strategies has both advantage and disadvantage, so which I have discussed.
Next strategy is trend following. Uh, as I said, in the momentum you are using averages or mean reversion. Uh, trend following systems are uh, generally uh, used when you want to look for uh, buy only or short. So you decide a trend. So in case you think that markets are in a bullish tone, and I will just look at the buying uh, the stocks or buying the instruments X Y Z. Uh, so what you do is you buy the instrument on a daily basis or weekly basis depending upon the trend you decide. Uh, you might use Dow theory which is the till the lows are not broken or trend line is not broken you will only buy. You might use Fibonacci retracements which is very much proportional to the technical fraternity. Uh, when the markets retrace by around 50% of the previous move or 38.2% of the previous move you tend to enter a long. So trend following are basically you have to decide your trend. And you put the algorithm as as soon as the 50% retracements comes, it will buy. Till the previous lows are not reached, you buy every 3% dip or every 5% dip or every 2% dip, depending upon your strategy, what you decide. And you keep an XYZ stop losses, and your system will continuously buy, 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 sell, 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 uh, till that levels are not triggered, which we have mentioned as stop loss. Arbitrage strategy, and this is very much popular into the derivative side, um, uh, and. Uh, even technical side or I would say trading side. Uh, so what does this strategy do is you correlate between various n number of stocks, very very n number of stocks, and uh, basically these are used in the hedge fund. So what do you do? You take uh, say all the future stocks, hundred stocks, and you think that some of the X stocks is highly highly performing, and uh, some of the stocks under those sectors are underperforming. So it depends on you what are the parameters you are using and you buy uh, that XYZ stock or sell XYZ stock depending upon the arbitrage you want to do. It is basically into the short term which generally hedge fund is because you need huge margins over here. And again arbitrage are generally uh, I would say high ticket size low margin trades. So your ticket size is very much important over here and that's the reason is highly retail doesn't afford to uh, trade into it and it's been generally known as hedge fund uh, strategy and it generally needs high ticket size uh, to enter into those kind of trades. Next is market making strategy and this is very much important when it comes to FIA and DIAs. Why? Market making means what you are making the price higher and lower. Why? Because your position size is so huge over here that even the stock volumes are say uh, 100 crores a day and you want to buy 15 crores worth of stocks. 15% of a daily volume. Still it's a big number because you need to have such kind of buyer and seller. So what does this strategy, what does algos do that? It's generally basically known as high frequency trades and uh, as soon as you, you find the seller this algos will buy, 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 buy and there is a certain cap to it. So uh, say I am buying at 150 rupees so I will put a cap that any order till 150 should be executed. So sometimes there might be a seller of around 149, 148 it will, the system will buy it out. So I have put a cap of 140, 150, any number of uh, sellers are there, I'll buy that. So this kind of market making strategies are used by FI and DI because they need a huge chunk of uh, stocks to buy at some point of time. So these are high frequency trades which FI and DI follows into the market making strategy. Last important is sentiment analysis and this is for me very very much uh, important or very very much interesting I would say. Why? And what does this uh, strategy do, algos do? What this algo will do is, algo, as soon as you type a XYZ stock, so say let's take uh, Facebook. Facebook is listed in US and you find Facebook. All the news into the Facebook, this algo will capture all the news of that company and show it to you. So you define a parameters that, uh, okay, XYZ news is good for a company. XYZ news is bad for company and all these news will come in front of you. So classic example of recent example is WhatsApp. So WhatsApp have updated that privacy uh, uh, into the, system, into the uh, app and there was a controversial over the privacy issue and uh, you might have known that there are various software uh, which uh, were targeting uh, and people were moving from WhatsApp or switching on to from WhatsApp to other uh, apps like uh, signal or uh, telegram or xyz 
so all these news algo what the algo will show it is showing you the second negative sentiments are developing about against the whatsapp and again it will uh, really put pressure on the facebook stock because the, it is negative for the company and uh, the algo will trigger a negative sentiment for you and you will look at the short opportunities in the new facebook so such kinds of uh, new sentiments uh, the algorithm will uh, come from every where any website which is posting such kind of keyword with facebook uh, it will gap and show you the sentiment analysis social media platforms like twitter linkedin xyz facebook xyz there are a number of social media uh, websites available into the uh, world Uh, where uh, these algos will take the keywords say uh, i would say that okay uh, maruti is coming with a new launch into the uh, say filex uh, segment so what does this uh, twitter or linkedin will do as soon as the maruti post that it will be coming up with new launch uh, this algo will show me the results of what are the positive feedbacks coming out of that model or xyz the features or the what are the negative uh, views coming out of it and it will show me the sentiment that okay the new launch is coming from maruti and the people are not liking those product people are not uh, uh, liking these features xyz so this will create a sentiment for me and it will show me that okay it's uh, 60% people are liking the product 40% people are not liking it so still there is a sentiment of positive over here so you might think that okay when the product will be launched there might be a chances that it will have a higher success rate and it will uh, it will be a good for maruti sales number so again i am not trying saying that this will be a, a intraday trade or two days trade but from a launch from a launch date to the sales number there might be a gap of around say couple of months three months four months and for that time you have to buy a maruti and hold on if, if you think that your sentiment analysis are showing your positive sign for maruti so such kind of uh, uh, analysis helps for help algo helps you to uh, take a decision on maruti again search engine so there are as i said social media search engine all these algo will take a various keywords which you enter uh, during the algo and it will really show you the sentiment on how what the street is expecting from the new launches or the new stocks or new privacy policies xyz and it will show you the sentiment with the, what the parameters you are increasing so this is very much important for me when it comes to uh, i would say short to medium term trading uh, and it really helps so if you look at uh, since the launch of s cross maruti stocks has seen a slight uptick into the momentum uh, so that kind of sentiment analysis you can expect uh, from your algo and uh, you have to decide the parameters of what you want to set out what kind of stocks you are looking at so there might be uh, you looking at uh, some of the fmcg company and you think that okay this product uh, has seen uh, n number of sales so from possibly that due to corona virus the pharma company which were expecting to come up with the vaccines what are the stages of uh, vaccine what are the uh, approvals on those so you can do all the search from sentiment analysis strategy into the algo so this is very much important for me uh, when it comes to the medium term trading so that's all uh, into this video and i hope uh, you like this video and uh, please do comment uh, us on uh, the various uh, videos whichever you like and we will be coming up with more videos in the next video we'll be discussing some of the technical strategies and uh, in the some of the derivative strategies which can you which can help you via algo uh, to minimize your uh, as i said we have discussed the previous uh, benefits of algo trading pros and cons of algo trading in our previous video still you haven't watched that do watch that video and stay tuned for our next video on technical trading uh, using algos and derivative trading using algos thank you signing off prijesh bhatia do not forget to subscribe to my email newsletters fast profits daily and get a free guide on how to trade markets like pro Thank you.